In our continuing series, I'm taking the opportunity to meet with some of our great clinical leaders here at Children's Mercy who are driving change and achieving great things in their departments and divisions, and those are reflected in our U.S. News and World Report results. And today, I'm so happy to be joined by Dr. Kate Keeler from the Department of Orthopedics. Kate, I know you're very busy, so I really appreciate you taking time to join me today in this series. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you for having me here. Why don't we start off by just talking about the Department of Orthopedics, the great accomplishments that you've been able to achieve, and the importance of teams and collaboration in achieving those great results. How has that occurred in the department? Well, I think it starts at the top by having um, inclusive um, leadership um, who really value the rest of the staff, um, value our opinions, value our time, and value our es expertise as much as they value our patients and our families. I think you're absolutely right. And um, Dr. Norm Otsuka is our new chair of orthopedics. What impact has his leadership had on the department to contribute to the culture that you're describing? Um, his impact starts first thing in the morning. He is the first to arrive and the last to leave. Um, and as I mentioned, he leads through inclusivity, um, and valuing his team. So Dr. Keeler, what are some of the accomplishments that you and the department are proudest of that have been achieved and really reflect that teamwork and collaboration that you speak of? Well, as you know, um, we were uh, fortunate enough to be able to recruit um, Dr. Azuka um, after conducting a national um, search, um, had lots of excellent candidates. As I mentioned, Norm rose to the top. Um, and I think that that was an achievement to be able to have so many excellent applicants um, really um, looking at the position. Um, it speaks volumes for who we are. Um, in addition, over the last 12 to 18 months, Children's Mercy has achieved ACS, American College of Surgeons, um, level one trauma designation, which shows our ability to work together as a team. Um, not just orthopedics, but um, pediatric general surgery played a role in that, um, neurosurgery, um, urology, all of the surgical subspecialties. In addition, our ICU um, is a, uh, you know, played a tremendous role in our achieving um, ACS level one trauma um, designation, as well as our emergency department, um, all of the levels that are required to take care of um, complex trauma patients. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, this is the second organization I've been part of that has worked to achieve level one trauma designation. And it is a great example of how the rising tide lifts all boats. It's really an organizational effort and really reflects the incredible capabilities across our entire children's health system, including the Department of Orthopedics. So we're very proud of that and very thankful for the leadership that you helped to provide in us gaining that achievement. So congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. It's very exciting. Um, Dr. Kira, we also know the last two, two and a half years have been extremely difficult on our organization, on the country, on the region, and so forth. And uh, those challenges have certainly impacted orthopedics in some ways, shapes, and forms. So when you think about orthopedics, what are some of the biggest challenges that you've had to contend with? Um, and how do you look forward in terms of addressing those challenges? Well, I think our biggest challenges, Paul, um, include issues such as patient access, making sure that the families who need to see us, the patients who need to see us, are able to see us in a timely manner. And certainly the last two years has, has shown us that there are challenges, but that we can rise above these. Um, in addition, and I know that this is surprising, but um, the role of mental health in all of healthcare, um, that I, I think that the last two years um, made it difficult for people to feel connected and just really made it so obvious how important addressing the entire patient is. One of the important learnings in our mental and behavioral health journey is realizing that um, mental health issues don't just occur in the swim lane of mental and behavioral health, but kids in all of our divisions and specialties can be impacted by mental health issues. And 
In orthopedics, for example, I think about sports medicine and the impact that a sports injury can have on the psyche of a child. Talk a little bit about your experience in orthopedics in that realm. So that is so true, that mental health plays such an important role in all of our health overall. My colleagues in sports medicine have done a tremendous job recognizing this, which then has led them to become leaders in suicide screening and really helping to detect problems before they occur and address those problems in a timely manner. Every day we hear incredible stories about the great work that folks like yourself and your teammates have done in orthopedics and really across the entire organization. Is there a story that comes to mind that demonstrates the amazing impact um, that you and your team have had on the care of children and the support of families? Um, my practice focuses on the care of children with neuromuscular disorders, which requires me to work closely with rehabilitation medicine, neurology, and neurosurgery. I love being able to work with a very diverse group of people to take care of a very unique set of patients. Recently, we had the opportunity, the um, group who takes care of children with neuromuscular um, disorders, we had the opportunity to present a multidisciplinary Grand Rounds. And it was so fun to work through that process because we knew that we wanted to present a patient from when they first saw us to their follow-up. This process allowed us to reflect on many different patients that we've taken care of, but it really drove to the front one young man in particular. And we were able to utilize our motion analysis lab to collect video and other information about how this young boy moved and performed his daily activities. And we were able to watch him for three years grow up in front of our eyes and see him before treatment, immediately after treatment, and then one year after treatment. And it was so much fun. And then to be able to share that process with other individuals through the ho throughout the hospital, um, to share his video, to share that in a presentation, and then to receive positive feedback was so rewarding, Paul. I love that story. Um, what it demonstrates to me, you know, we talk about helping children achieve their full potential. And what you just described is exactly that. It's guiding a child through the course of their care, their recovery, their rehabilitation, the management of a chronic disease, but helping that child and the family maximize the full potential of the child. And that has to be so professionally rewarding for you and the entire team as well, I would imagine. Think ahead over the next five to 10 years for a moment, if you would, Dr. Keeler, and you know, what are you excited about in terms of advancements and new opportunities and perhaps even new challenges that we'll be facing um, that will impact the department going forward? I think one of the challenges as we move forward is um, recognizing that we have so many different subspecialties within orthopedics um, which we want to promote, yet not losing sight of our mission. Um, that I believe that um, making sure that we, that we maintain um, a laser focus on the patient and the family um, and never losing touch with our humanity. It's, it's very easy to... Um, grow almost too big and lose touch with that. So I think it's, it's very, very important to um, laser focus on our mission, keep, remain patient and family centered um, as we you know, continue to grow and expand. That is so spot on and insightful. We will continue to advance our capabilities in terms of how we deliver care how we um, seek and find new discoveries that will help advance care, how we continue our role as an academic institution training the next generation of caregivers, but we must never lose sight of what is so fundamental for us, and that is our mission and how we enable our people to bring it to life every single day. 
and you certainly do that every day. And um, I'm so thankful that you took the opportunity to uh, join us today, Dr. Keeler. Thank you for your insight, your leadership, the great care that I know you provide to kids every single day. Thanks for joining us again, and thank you for joining us as well. Have a great day.